Welcome to my Lavanya Zapray 5 from Ewing Primary School. My name is Potter J. The Zapray Toda from Ewing Primary School. This lesson is Techniques of Definite Integral and its Applications. For this lesson, we'll have method number one, which is the symmetric property of the integrand. For last lesson, we have one very special question. This is the indeterminable, I mean, the indefinite integral form, right? Yeah. But we cannot solve it. If we add the boundary, we could, strangely, we could solve it. Right? Yes. And what is this answer? Square root of pi. Yes, correct. Square root of pi. Yes. So for this, there are actually different types of cases that are like this, right? Yep. You cannot find it for indefinite integral, but you can find it for definite integral. Yes. Which is very weird. Do you know what is an even function? What is an odd function? So an uh, even function f negative x is equal to fx and f for all function f negative x is equal to negative fx. Okay, so remember this is the even function. And below the odd function. So like this, can you give an example of an even function? A cosine x. And plus, let me tell you something special. Why is it time for? Well, that is 12. I know, but in... So it actually means that all times even go to even but there's something weird here different numbers Okay. Well, odd function times. Okay, you want odd function times odd function. Are you sure that's an even function? Yes. Well, it's actually quite weird. It's actually positive. 
this, I bought this, they all bought this, they all bought this. Yes. So you realize that he's yeah. a better beer, right? Yeah. And you can even relate them to different things, right? Yep. Okay, so are you clear for these even functions or odd functions? Okay. Okay, remember this is one example of an even function. This is one example of an odd function. Okay. Okay, so can we start these questions? One, two, and three. Yeah. Um. Okay, so we'll start with the first question. Would you like to try that? Okay. First question. Easy. Okay, x cube is odd, right? Yes. Cosine, it's even. Okay, yes, it's even. So this is odd or even? Odd. Odd. Okay, continue. N plus has the substance factor about functions. Functions odd over even also odd. Okay, which is actually times n. Okay, and remember for those even functions, it's actually that they're symmetrical. Yes, but usually for all functions, they'll be symmetrical by origin. Usually only. So here, is this an odd or even? Even. Okay, so it's actually an odd times even times even. No, it's an odd times. And they go with the odd, they're odd over even also odd. Okay, so for this, okay, what you get is zero, which is actually, if you use two of this, you might not be able to find it, right? Yes. Okay, so this is actually quite special about that, right? Okay, so for example, one of this. Remember, this is from sine, right? Yes. If you want from 0 to, sorry, is 2 pi. When you just use it in one integral, you actually get what? Zero. Yes, so correct. They don't cancel each other. Yes, correct. They do cancel each other. If you want to find the actual area, you need to write them in two separate integrals or two times one of them. Yeah. Am I right? Yep. So this is what's so special about these odds and evens, okay? Okay? Yeah. So are you clear for this first question? Yes. And you understand why is it like that? Okay. Okay. The next question. Which is, wait, you just now didn't read out the question. Okay, so just now that, okay. So right now, what we have here, I still remember that, wait, isn't this the one that we had last time? Yeah. So it's like this, right? Yes. Well, actually last time we already showed that this is, a special one, right? Yep. Okay, let me just ask you again to see whether you still remember what is. What is this? <laughs> easy. Write it out. You said it's easy. Are you so sure about that? Remember, negative infinity to zero. Yes. Okay, so so this is actually what you get, right? And when these two add together, it will be from negative infinity to positive infinity. And remember that this graph will actually be it will double. something like this. Yes, and we right? double. Okay, so, are you clear for the second question? Yeah. 
So you see, these are actually, this question is what we had last time. Okay, so can we move on to the third question? Of course. Okay, so next what we'll have is a third question, which we can solve it. So this third question is, integrate from negative 1 to 1, and this is x to the power of 5 plus the inverse tangent x whole thing square, then over x squared plus 1, and at the back dx. Okay, if you want to know more about what well, we can continue. Actually, when we split the uh, first part is the odd function, so it's 0. Oh, so you just straight away sort this as a zero? Yes. Okay. Well, that's a big jump. <laughs> okay, continue. So actually for this x squared plus one, put it inside, inverse tangent x. So actually for that part, you can, well, just start integrating. And remember, yes, over 3. Inverse, inverse, yes. Yes, and the cube. So for that, when you saw the 1 inside, which is the inverse tangent 1, Okay, so it will be the pi over 4. Okay, it's true, we can it out. <laughs> so that will be our 96. Wow, very good. So you actually found the answer for this. Very clever. Well, I didn't know that you can just straight away solve this as a 0. Do you know why? Let's play. Well, it's actually just an odd function. Odd function. And just for further information, the even function, it is symmetric about the? About the y-axis. Yes, for odd function, it is symmetric. Yes, odd function, in case you don't know, it is also symmetric. But usually, about is origin. origin. Okay. And sometimes it may not be correct because it may not be at the y-axis. It also may not be at the origin. Okay, well that's just sometimes, okay? Yes. So are you now for this question number three? Yep. So you see, at last you can get that answer, pi q over 96. And remember, you can check with a calculator. Of course. Okay, in case you don't know, you just take the reciprocal of this, and remember, it must be in radians. Take the reciprocal of that, and times this. Times this. So at last, what should you get? One. Yes. Because if it's the correct answer, 69 over pi cube times pi cube over, I mean, 96 over pi cube. Times so pi cube over 96. So, are you clear so far for all of these? Yes. So, do you have anything else to say before we end? If you like our video, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Okay, so can we end our lesson here? Okay. Okay. Thank you for your watching.